driving up and down the lane. Welcome back to my channel. I do apologize in advance for how windy it might be. So I have come today to the Bronte homeland, not the one in Haworth in Yorkshire. I've been there. This is actually where Patrick Bronte, the Bronte sisters, father came from and I think he preached in this church it's near where I live and there's a schoolhouse it's not open at the minute but there's really creepy statues in the schoolhouse but yeah this is this is his, the church that I think he preached in or he would have attended when he was uh, learning to be a preacher when he lived here because the family was originally known as Brunty but yeah it's not as nice as it was at the weekend it's quite cold actually and it's quite overcast and misty but I'm gonna go for another adventure and I'm going to take you with me and I think this is a bit of information about the Brunty homeland let's just see so there's the church and the house and another house. So we we'll have church and school, picnic site, Alice McClory's cottage, Patrick Bronte's birthplace cottage, which is I think this one, and the Glasgow school where I think he went to school. So I don't really like to film in churches but I thought I'd like to show you this because I love the Bronte sisters. In fact Jane Eyre is my favourite book and Charlie Bronte is Probably one of my favourite authors, but it's such a lovely setting and I'll just show you how creepy these figures are. In fact, I thought this, per this man here was actually an attendant at the school, like a museum attendant. I think this is meant to be Patrick Bronte. That was quite creepy. It's a nice spring day. There's daffodils everywhere in my car. And then there's this lovely mosaic with the line from Jane Eyre and mean, her talking about Mr. Rochester. And there's a little old stone cottage over there. Oh, it's so cold, I have to get back in the car. So I've come to Kilbrony National Park, another forest park for a walk, though it's not as nice as one at Tullamore. But there is a Narnia trail here because as far as I know, C.S. Lewis used to come here and he said that the view of Carlingford Lock from Australia, which is in South County Down Coast, is what Narnia is to him, which is pretty cool. Doing this trail, their Narnia trail. So this is a bit of a literary vlog today at the Bronte sisters and C.S. Lewis. He came here quite a lot, even though we lived in England. And as he said, this, that part of Restrever which overlooks Carlingford Lock, is my idea of Narnia. So I'm gonna go and walk around here and see what it looks like. So this is so cool. This is the Narnia trail or Mar so I go to Ram Narnia. So we're here, got the lamp wardrobe. I guess you can go either way. Oh, you go this way. See, beavers, hut, tree people, dancing lawn. You've got the underworld, citadels, and you've got pattered twigs. This is so cool. And look at this. It's the wardrobe door. And if I zoom in, you can see the lamp. This is so cool. Off to Narnia. And the lamp. Though I can't see Mr. Tumnus, maybe I should wait here. But then the White Witch might get me, so let's move on. Hmm. Left. Sorry, right or left? I think we'll go this way. Oh wow, so beautiful, lovely willow sculptures of people. Oh, it is so cold today. Oh. I 
this one. I'm careful not to trip. Oh wow, these are amazing. This is the, the tree people's part of the Narnia. So I'm guessing this is meant to be Oh, a breath after I come up there. This is meant to be the White Queen's Palace. I think it's a little bit tacky to be honest. Uh, I was quite surprised that this is here. I thought the thing maybe about willow like the other sculptures. It's probably made out of fiberglass. Let's go and have a look. Yeah quite tacky actually thinking this is the beavers hut I heard I'm not quite sure the beavers live in the dam on a tree there's a map at the start of the trail but towards the end of the trail and the middle it doesn't really tell you what everything is you might have to get a map from the shop or the cafe but it would be handy if they had trail maps or information at each point that's meant to represent parts of the story of the land witch in the wardrobe. This looks more like an elf's house. But it is beautiful, though very very cold. Oh little each thing has like I think this is must have been one from So each little sort of porthole not porthole, this is not a ship window has like little things from Colonel Ghost and Arnie, so this is obviously led for dinner and then if I can just reach up here it's very faded but it looks like somebody's bedroom or bathroom so the C.S. Lewis trail is actually not that great it sort of ends and it's really confusing to find where the rest of it is so I'm gonna go back and go for like a walk maybe up in the hills depending if this fog clears it's actually starting to be quite warm and sticky despite the weather this is such a cool tree but I'm going to go go for a walk hopefully see some more scenery get something to eat and then I have another cup of tea in the little shop oh kind of played through sticks but I didn't go through oh no but isn't this beautiful? It must be lovely on a sunny spring day or summer day. Or even any summery, not summery, sort of sunny day in any spring, in any season. Hopefully you can hear me and try and talk a bit louder over the, the babbling water. But it's so nice. I seriously wish YouTube or cameras had smell of vision because there's an amazing sort of damp, foresty, earthy smell and the air is amazing. It's so fresh. Oh, a little stream. I wish we could smell this and there's loads of little clover. Clover's out. And it just smells so nice. So nice indeed. Okay, so I'm quite fit but this is a really steep hill. So, <laughs> a little bit out of breath. But my god, isn't it beautiful? Look at the canopy, the trees. And again, the lovely damp forest smell. And even though I've got really good camera or cross country trainers on, whew, whew, I am out of breath. Hopefully, whatever's at the top of this hill will be worth it. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down again unless I roll down. <laughs> 